What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill. This is Matt. This is the Tat Squatch and this is the new Wolfbox G900 Pro. Now if you've watched the channel in the past you may know that we already have the Wolfbox G900 installed in Matt's Bronco and it's a huge Huge help for him, seeing as how you can't see out the back window since you have this big 40 inch spare tire and then the part that is above there is a speaker. So we mounted the rear view camera here and so when he's driving he has an unobstructed view of the rear. Now Wolfbox sent him out the new upgraded Pro. Some differences is it's now up to 4K on the front view, 2.5K on the rear, and use it's now using the Sony... IMX678 sensor. What was that again? The Sony IMX678 sensor. Right, so if you understand what that means in camera talk, it's supposedly a pretty nice sensor. It's going to make it improved. Uh, image and they've added some cool things like uh, Wi-Fi. It's Wi-Fi enabled now and has voice commands as well So we're going to swap out his His old one for the new pro. So this is side of the mirror does have a camera on it facing forward it acts as a dash cam um, constantly recording so if anything were to happen then you have a recording and you can say hey look I was not responsible for this accident here's proof uh, you could do a split screen between the two it's pretty cool all around I know Matt's been very happy with it ever since we've installed it. Very happy. Uh, what, nighttime? Is it okay? Yeah, you get a little glare from lights, but no, nothing big. I mean, it's way better than not having anything. <laughs> One of the best upgrades that I could have could have thought about. It's uh, especially having no vision. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it's it's great. There's a couple of options for mounting it. There's a optional whole control arm that you can replace. To make it look more OEM. To make it look OEM. Uh, originally it comes with just the mirror and you could strap that around your OEM mirror. So then you could just take it off and have your mirror. Uh, this was more of a full time replacement. We're gonna go ahead and open up the box, see what all's in there, see what we have to do to swap out the camera and swap out the mirror itself. All right, so here's everything that they sent out. There's the mirror itself, and we'll see what all's in that. This is the extra mount, like I was saying. You remove your old mirror, and this will screw in there, and then that will screw onto the back of the mirror and hold it in. Here inside the box, we have, drum roll, the mirror itself. Here's the forward facing camera. They said uh, if you don't want to change the mount, there's straps that'll wrap around that to the OEM mirror and it'll just strap right on there like that. Which those straps are probably included here in the box. And, and there's the power source for it. Plugs into any 12 volt. Uh, and then plugs in for power. Now if you don't want to have this wire hanging out, there is also an included uh, wiring kit that they sent. The, the hard wire kit that, we, that you could tuck the wires back behind and it's got a fuse tap. It's 
going to go down to your fuse box panel and uh, you could tap into your fuse box so you can you have power on there it's a <laughs> and a GPS antenna it also has a GPS antenna these are the straps I had mentioned and it has the camera. new camera and that's what that extra thing is is if you need extra wiring for your camera like perhaps you were going to put the camera on the back of a trailer or something or you have a really long truck or anything and it's got a little camera mount with some my favorite 3m double stick tape and some little clips wire clips etc some documentation pluck them and file them Mm -hmm. and a trim tool for hiding wiring and then what's uh what do we have in the mitts so box? this is an optional polarizing lens for the front facing camera all right so you can attach that lens here to this camera and that's going to help reduce glare all right so here is the old one doesn't look very old but um here you can see how that gets mounted to the back there and then that just slides over your oem mount on the dash on the windshield now the old one had one mic opening here and a power button where it looks like the new one has a more pronounced power button and then two mic holes and then around the on the top side here you got the GPS the rear camera type C for power and then a built-in SD card that they did supply and this one is 128 megabytes or gigabytes <laughs> so uh this one also did come with one but i believe this one was only 64 so you get twice as much storage on with the new camera with the pro i can go over kind of show you how we have everything wired this is the mounting bracket i was talking about on the windshield that will just slide on there then we have the power wire run up and over and then down the A pillar and connect it into the fuse box. And then this camera wire is run up and back and then down back there and back out. I'm not going to bore you with the arduous process of doing that, but I will go ahead and link to our old video. Uh, it shows you uh, exactly how we ran that wire to get it back there and then ran it through the tailgate and then out here and then just through one of the openings for the spare now this is the old camera mounted here and we just ran that port through so then it's a quick disconnect so if you have to take this off you can just end up pulling that wire out so now that we have our wire run though, just back here, we just have to hook up our new, replace the old camera with the new camera, and then we'll connect it to the wire we ran back through here. All right, so now if you're not using the straps, you do have to... You have to peel these little tabs off and it exposes the screw underneath and then you simply remove the strap holders so you can attach the backing plate to the mirror with those tiny little screws make sure it doesn't go flying and this just slides right out you and repeat that. that three more times <laughs> all right now that all of these are out we 
set the back plate on there and you do leave these out you don't put the little pieces back in because these countersink into the spots and then you simply replace the screws ways and then it snugs down at the bottom so then we take the provided screws and just attach these give it a mint we have this polarizing camera or lens all right so and then it just slips up and over and then there's a set screw underneath to tighten and keep that from bouncing around it's a small torx bit to remove this piece here that way you could pull this plastic down and we fed the wire through so it's right here and then we have the gps antenna right on top of here uh, we haven't stuck it down yet we're going to make sure everything's working for putting it back on this is 10 times what the image quality of the OEM reverse camera is. And it's really not bad. So that just says more for the Wolf Box. Uh, GPS seems to be working. 17, 16. Alright, so perhaps you're wondering why does a mirror need Wi-Fi? We were wondering the same, but we figured it out. And it's actually very cool. So once you download the app to your phone, and they have an app for Android or Apple, you could select your device. You could connect to your from your phone to your mirror using Wi-Fi. And then you can download any of your recorded video. You can uh, switch it from front to back control the camera and you can uh, even edit your videos and upload them from there so say you were driving around and something cool happened you can connect your phone download it and upload it to your favorite social media uh, site very simply you never have to take the little SD card out and find a reader again there are voice controls, but if you're not sure what they are, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little thing right there that you can click, and it pulls up different things, which uh, I'll put, I don't know if you can read them there. I don't want to read say them out loud because uh, and change things, but uh, you can show front camera. Very so show front camera, show rear camera, turn Wi Fi on, Wi Fi on, turn on Wi Fi, uh, turn on Wi Fi, turn off Wi Fi, and so on. And then there's a bunch of other settings you can go into. All right, so Matt hooked up a deal for you guys. If you order through the link down in the description below, you can get 18% off. Uh, however, from now until the end of October, uh, it is Wolfbox's fifth anniversary. And to celebrate, if you use code Wolfbox Fifth. Wolfbox Fifth. Uh, they are giving 20% off, and that's from October 16th to October 31st. Uh, so for the rest of the month of October, use code. Wolfbox 5th uh, to get 20% off any Wolfbox products and I'll put a link to, down to their site below. So thanks Matt for bringing this out and letting us show off the upgrade. Thank you. Um, and it was a very nice and quick upgrade 
for that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like that in the future, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.